guys, how's it going? As promised, I have a tech video. I know it's hard to believe I'm not talking about football or politics or anything else. I'm talking about a tech video. And primarily the subject is about backing your content up. I know that sounds rudimentary, you know, pretty basic. The point is too many people lose content, valuable content, you know, whether it be documents, uh, contacts, you know, what have you, they lose it because they don't simply back up. It's usually very painless, very uh, trouble-free to do it, but they don't do it. And I've heard many horror stories of people who don't create backups of their content and, you know, they, stop, they pay the price, they suffer the consequences. So, what this video is, it's, it's kind of a... Um, uh, on screen demonstration of how to back up content on uh, Mac OS 10 uh, using various applications as well as dragging files to a folder and placing them on an external drive. So um, I'm using kind of a headset microphone for it so it'll sound a little different than this but hopefully you can get the, the gist of it. So hope you guys like it. Uh, please feel free to comment, um, you know, send me feedback about it. If you want to know other types of, if you want me to make other types of tech videos, can't promise I'll make them in you know quick succession, but uh, definitely I'll try to get around to it. Um, just FYI, this was made on my Mac Mini, and so hope you enjoy. To make backups, you can usually do them in the applications themselves. You don't need to drag the raw files from most of the applications uh, to an external drive or flash drive. Um, you can just do them in the applications themselves. For instance, uh, in a dress book, you open that up and you have your list of contacts and you say, okay, how do I get this as a backup? Well, uh, Mac OS X makes it really easy. You go up to uh, the file menu, scroll down, select export, and select address book archive. It's going to give you a location to save it and we'll select the desktop and we'll hit save. And that's all there is to that. Really easy. Now if if the problem happens that you lose all your contacts like oh my gosh I have no contacts. And we'll even emulate it and we close it up, open it back up and go where are my contacts? I don't have anything. Now some people say, oh, well, I got mobile me. Okay, I got mobile me. The point is, if you have no contacts on your computer and it's synced from your computer up to mobile me, guess what mobile me has? No contacts. So that's not a cure-all. And sh mobile me should not be used as a backup. It should be used as a way of syncing multiple computers, iPhone, iPod Touch, things of that like that so how do you get them back easy go to import select address book archive navigate to where that archive is hit open you want to replace all because obviously there's nothing left and there's your contacts safe and sound same thing with iCal in iCal it's a little different you have your uh, test events and it's like okay I can't afford to lose these I, I, I got reminders and schedules and I, and I just need to know uh, my calendar and I and I just I can't look forward to lose it so same thing you go up to file this time you go down to backup iCal as with the dress book you want to designate a place to save it and hit save saving up backup file now for instance uh, We we do we duplicate uh, all of this, and it's like okay, I got to restore. How do I restore all that? Bam, you're safe and sound. All your calendar events, reminders, schedules are back. N now, same thing for Safari. 
Safari's like, okay, gosh, I've I lost all my bookmarks. I have no bookmarks left. Oh, wait, I know. I'll go to Mobile Me. Oh wait, that's right. It's synced over. I don't have any contacts or calendars there either. Oh, and I can't see the bookmarks because it doesn't offer that anymore. So, easy. What you do? We'll feature under the file menu again. You have import bookmarks, export bookmarks. How to save it? Go to export. Now, when it names it as Safari bookmarks, I like to be consistent with address book and iCalendar and put a date on it. That way I know when I exported it. So we hit save. And it's like, okay. Then I want to, and let's say for just for purposes here, we lost everything. Everything's gone. Oh my gosh. What do I do now? Oh, wait. I can import bookmarks. HTML file, of course. You can do this cross bookmarks from Firefox or Camino or any other type of browser as long as it's in an HTML format. Oh, and there's my bookmarks again. And then literally it would be just dragging them back to where they need to be. So we go here, did it, did it, oops, did it. Drag them there. Oh, there they are. Safe and sound. No worries there. Now, if uh, you have content such as video files, music files, picture files that are not in one of those applications, then you, what you literally do is you go into the file itself and say, oh gosh, I really need that picture of the Eiffel Tower and I can't afford to lose it. So I'm going to move it to a folder on my desktop. And I need that picture too. Actually, I'm I'm moving them. I should be copying them. Just pretend I'm copying them. So, anyways, so here we have our dress book archive. We have the iCal backup, Safari backup, and now we have a folder of copied files. You don't want to leave them on your computer. I mean, what's the point of that? I mean, if your computer crashes, so do so do do the backups. You always want to save something to an external drive or flash drive. Preferably an external drive because flash drives can have problems. So here I just turned on my, uh, what do you call it? external drive. Yep, have my folder here already, but that's okay. I'm just going to replace it. And then I'm going to move my stuff on the external drive safe and sound. Not a problem. <coughs> Excuse me, not a problem. And then, of course, these you can just delete. Not a problem. Okay, so I hope that helps. Uh, make sure you back up. Uh, if you don't, you will be sorry. <coughs> <coughs>